Namaste and welcome to another great day at the Mike and Connor Homestead. Uh, doing some processing of the wood we cut in some of the past Lumberjack episodes. Figured it would be a great opportunity to do a video. Show you guys what I use all the tools I told you about for. Um, we're going to start off with these metal wedges. I use the metal wedges for really awkward pieces of wood like this one. Maybe some the thicker wood as well that's kind of hard to get a good straight hit on with the with the axe this allows me to get in there and really get after it I wouldn't use it on some of the bigger wood I'm gonna see if I can try and swing this without breaking the camera and what I normally do to assure that I always hit the metal wedge is I just look at it and then I normally hit it sometimes I miss it See it's getting a little off. I'll flip it around so I can still get a good hammer on it. And there you have it. I got the thing in half. Make it a little easier for me to work with. It's still really wet in. This was the the olive tree here. So you can see kind of a good middle, middle ground. It's not a super soft wood or a super hard wood. So it's kind of nice because you can start a fire with it. Um, sometimes oak's a little hard to start. You got to get some pine in first. So I always want to have a good one in the middle because then you don't have to use two different types of wood to get your fire going. So then I got a piece of every kind of wood that I have. This is the pine. It's the softest wood. I did get some from when we were cutting wood at the big and little Vince's house. So I figured we'd split some of this wood and see how easy it splits. When you're splitting with the mall, this is just a cheap Home Depot mall. I have a nice one. It's a Husqvarna that I like more than this one, but I don't want to break the Husqvarna, so I bought this one as insurance. And I always kind of try and watch the grain. So on this one, the grain's not perfectly straight. It's slanted, so I don't want to hit it straight because then it won't go straight through. I want to hit it at an angle with the wood. So that's a little secret. Oh. I didn't get it very good that time. Kind of worried about hitting the camera here. Wow. And there we go. I kind of got a good start there. And there is a... It looks like there's a, uh, a knot in it. So that's probably why I'm having go through it a little harder but I'll get through it here I'm almost there now let's give it the old backward throw well man and you can see the knot that I ran into on this piece right here. So with these, you may want to try using the metal splitting wedge. It may make it a little easier on you. But if you can see the amount of work that was involved with that. Just tag the handle a little bit there. And there you have it. I got that one done. Wish it was a little easier for the video camera. And then next, I've got a maple, kind of similar to the olive tree, somewhere in between the hard and the soft woods. Another wood I burned all last winter, really liked it. Didn't need to start the fire with the softer wood. I'd use smaller pieces to start the fire though. And that cut straight through. There was no knots in this one, so that's probably why. But you can see, and I'll probably quarter this one out. A great workout, though. Cutting the tree down is just the beginning, work wise. And I have been using the Picaroon today really cool tool if I want to put one of these rounds on and split it it's really easy
may get some kindling out of this guy. Looks like it's starting to rain a little bit. Probably a good thing, as hot as it is here today. It's close to 100. It's a really hot day. And then I've got, this is um, Aspen. And I'm not really sure on Aspen how hard of a wood it is. Um, if you do, maybe I'll leave a comment and look it up. I was trying to before the video, but I didn't. I'm guessing it's a softer wood, only because of how easy it was to cut through when I was cutting the tree down. Let's give it a chance with this, uh, this sledge and see uh, how soft it is to get through it. And you can see it feels like a softer wood, but again, don't quote me, it's really wet. I know that Aspens love water, so you can see the, uh, the grain. So I need to cut it at that angle to get through it really easy. So see if I can get through it, cutting it at the right grain. You can see that was a clean cut, only I think the awkwardness of the cut on this top may have prevented me from getting through it. Oh, man. Let's try that again. I'll probably just hit it on the, on the sides instead of going straight down the center, and then I can get it pieced out a little better. There we go. Probably give it one more good cut. Get some good burnable wood in. This is really awkward cut here. Let's see what I can do. And we got it. So I may cut this one up a little bit more, but I'll do that after the video. And then here's another piece of olive. So I do have some juniper as well, but they're not big enough to split. So I'm not going to do that. I like burning juniper as well. I think it's right in the middle of a hard and a soft as well. Ooh, and that is a harder wood, definitely. That one gave it a little crack. Let's keep out of here. There we go. And whenever I'm working, doing this, I normally listen to Pandora ACDC. Uh, something about that rock and work kind of go hand in hand. So if you're interested in that, I think that that is helpful in getting really hard work done. So keep that in mind. There we go. Now, granted a hydraulic splitter would have been way easier to do this, but where's the fun in that? So as you can see, I got that one through, getting an excellent workout out of this. And with that, whew, I wanna say mahalo for watching. I wish you all a, a excellent uh, 4th of July, and if you like, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.